Now, what is going on, everyone? Today, we're going to continue with our type orm series. And today, we're going to talk about relations. So one to one, one to many, many to many, and uh, many to one. And the easiest way to understand this is by looking at an example. And since we are on YouTube, I thought, well, why not make an example about YouTube? So on YouTube, you have users like you and me, and users can have channels, but every user can have at most one channel. Now, little side note, I know that there are some people who have multiple channels, but user here refers to one Gmail address. So if you actually run multiple channels, you also have multiple users. So one user can have zero or one channel, one channel can have multiple videos and every video can have multiple tags. Think of it like hashtags, like uh, TypeScript, JavaScript, uh, TypeOrm, these kind of things. Okay, and with that, we basically demonstrate all types of relations. So a one-to-one -one relationship between user and channel, a one-to-n relationship, so one-to-many relationship between channel and video, and a many-to-many -many relationship between tags and video. And here, like one more important note, if you have a many-to-many -many relationship, you will always have an intermediary table. And that's why this is there, right? Because you might think, okay, I get that we have a user table, a channel table, and a video table, and a tag table, but why do we need this one? Well, if you have many-to-many -many relationship, you need like something in between. Okay, so uh, let's try to make this work. Um, also, just go to the documentation here at typearm.io and here at one to one you can see how it works. Uh, it's actually quite simple. So what you have is you have this annotation here, one to one. And the first parameter here is always the type. So which type you're referencing. And one more note, in typearm you can have unidirectional and bidirectional relationships. So that means if you want to go from user or if you only wanted to go from user to channel, that would be unidirectional. But if you also want to go from channel to user, right, then it's sort of like a circle, then it's bidirectional. And we're going to do the bidirectional thing. It's probably also the one that you will pick. Now, I think I modified this file here a little bit. I deleted a couple of things. But uh, every user has like an ID, has like a first name and an email. And for the email, I made this one unique just to show you like later in the migration, what type of SQL it generates. Okay, so in order to make a one-to-one -one relationship, we need to create another entity. So I'm going to make a new file. I'm going to copy and paste everything. And I'm just going to rename this. And a channel has like a name. So I'm going to name this name. And now the only thing we need to do to get a reference to user, well, we just need to say, well, this entity has a reference to user. And on the other side, we can say, well, this entity has a reference to channel. So here's like our reference. And the thing is, we now need to tell TypeORM that this is a one-to-one -one relationship. So one-to-one. -one. And here's the annotation. Make sure to import it. And as I said, the first parameter of this is always the type of the thing you are referencing to, right? So since we are referencing a channel, you would put channel here. And on the other side, since we are referencing a user here, same thing, one to one. But here we are actually referencing a user. So that's it. And now the only thing is or the two things we need to do is we need to decide where we are going to put the join column and we need to make sure that the relationship is really bidirectional. So if you want a bidirectional relationship, you also need to specify the inverse. So given like a user, how do I get to the channel? Well, I get to the channel by saying, okay, uh, user.channel. And the same here on this side. So given a channel, how do I get to user? A channel.user. And this is just to make sure that if you have a user object, you can say user.channel and you will get the channel. And if you have a channel object, you can say channel.user and you will get that one as well. So that's it pretty much. The only thing we have to do is we have to decide where we are going to put the join column. Because bear in mind, if you have a, uh, where is it? Somewhere here, yeah. If you have a one-to-one -one relationship, we could put the foreign key like on either side, right? So we could make a column here on the user table and we could say, okay, here's like a channel ID, which is a foreign key that references channel. 
or we could make another column on the channel table that references the user. While both would be possible, the second option is clearly better. And the reason for that is because not every user has a channel. So that means you will have a, like a lot of null values in here. And that's why you want to put this, this foreign key, so like the column that stores the reference on the channel side, because you know this one is definitely not null. You can tell type orm, or there's like an annotation you can use to tell type orm where to put like the join column. And this is just add join column. Okay, so now type on will make sure that the join column will be on the channel side. So that is pretty much uh, one to one. Let's uh, continue with one to many. Remember one to many was a video. So I'm going to create another file called video.js. I'm going to copy and paste everything. I'm going to rename this here and every video has a title. Okay, let's just delete this one. Okay, so here's our video. Oh, it's a, that was wrong. S title and string. Okay, yeah, so that's it. Now we need to reference, we need to somehow reference the channel, right? So I'm going to say, well, if I have a video object, I want to be able to reference the channel. And if I have a channel, I want to be able to reference an array of videos. That is important, right? So one to many and many to one. And now the question is, how are we going to do this in terms of annotations? And the idea here is that the annotation always refers to the current entity. So you need to think, okay, one channel can have multiple videos and we're always referring to the current entity. So it's a one to many relationship, one to many. Okay. And the same thing as before, we need to specify the type. So we need to specify like video. Okay. Yeah. I've imported this. And the important thing is we also need to specify everything in reverse, right? So if I have a video, how do I get the channel? Well, like this. And if you go to the video, you can say, okay, every video or a video belongs to exactly one channel. Um, but a channel can have multiple videos. And since we are always starting at the, uh, at the current entity, uh, the correct annotation here for the channel is like many to one. Okay. So, many videos right the current point of reference is the entity many videos can belong to one channel okay again specified type in this case channel and then if i have a channel how do i get the videos well i get channel videos okay so that's it cool so that is one to many and many to one and now the last thing we need to do is uh, many to many so again, same thing. I'm just going to take something, copy it, paste it, and I'm going to name this tag. And each tag has a name that is fine. Um, yeah, and that is like how our, oops, tag. This is like how our tag entity is going to look like. The many to many relationship can be a little bit more complicated, like if you look at it on a database level, but on the entity level, it's quite simple. Because what you just do is you go to the thing that owns or you go to the side that owns this. So the video owns the tags, right? So that's why we need to go to videos and we need to say tags, tag. Right, also makes sense, right? If I have one video, I might want to know what tags it has. And now I can say many to many. And in that case, the class we're referencing is tag, uh, which we have to import, by the way. And now there's one more additional thing, and this one is critical, join table. Yeah, be in mind, it's join table and not join column. Like this is important because as I already mentioned before, if you have a many to many relationship, you always need a separate uh, table to join. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. You can have a one-to-n relationship without a se separate table, but if you, has an, if you have an n-to-m relationship, it won't work. Cool. So that is how you do all of that. I think we're pretty much done with the whole setup here. Yeah, now the only task that is left is 
we should try to run all of this. And let's do this in the next video because there we are going to talk about migrations because after all, you don't want to use this synchronized feature, but you rather want to use migrations and we are going to auto generate them with the CLI and then we can see how to make all of this run. Cool. So thank you so much and see you in the next video.